What's up guys? Today we've got a special unboxing. Normally I don't do unboxings because I find them to be pretty boring. It's usually just a case and a disc. Free digital code and that's pretty much it. But this is a little bit special. This is the 4K Ultra slash Blu-ray slash digital code Middle Earth 31 Disc Ultimate Collector's Edition of The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings trilogies. So let's get this thing unboxed and see what is inside. I have the have the original discs that came out a few months back. I didn't get the collector's box set. I just have everything individual. But uh, let's see what we have here. We have this little slip cover here, which tells you all the special features, it says 31 disc includes theatrical and extended versions of all six films. The Hobbit trilogy and the Lord of the Rings trilogies. Digital code redeems the theatrical and the extended versions of each film. And also exclusive Blu-ray bonus disc. It's got, uh, what do we got? Some content, Alamo Draft House, the Lord of the Rings cast reunion. I'm trying to read this upside down. To honor the 20th anniversary of the Lord of the Rings trilogies, Alamo Drafthouse reunites Middle Earth's finest for three special conversations hosted by Stephen Colbert. So that is going to be on these discs. So let's see what we got here. So this is the back of the box. Looks like you've got Gandalf and the rest of the crew. Take a quick look at the sides. That is the left side. And quick peek on the right side then on the front let's see how this thing opens up all right so this opens up like this like a book which shows you every single one of the discs here so disc one this is the hobbit and unexpected journey let's pop this guy out first this is the first disc that is the this is actually a slip cover it tells you a little breakdown of the film here Follow the Hobbit, Bilbo Baggins. Theatrical extended versions of the films on 4K and on Blu-ray. That's right there. So this is a slip cover there, which same artwork that was on the slip is on the disc art itself. That is the back. Let's take a look inside. So the 4K theatrical version. This is the 4K extended version. This is the theatrical Blu-ray version and the Blu-ray extended version. So no artwork on there, they're just, uh, they're just brown. The next one is The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog. Here is front cover and the back cover. That's the slip case. Same artwork, 4K disc case. That's the back. Same deal as the original disc, the first disc. We've got the 4K extended version, theatrical and extended version on standard Blu-ray. These were, um, I didn't actually review these individually when these first came out because I wasn't exactly too thrilled with the image quality. So I did, I did a review on my other channel, which is Dynamically Challenged. If you're not subscribed to Dynamically Challenged, you can see the review that I did for Lord, the Lord of the Rings over there. But here's the Hobbit, the Battle of the Five Armies. That is the front. And that's the rear. Slipcase, same artwork. Back shot. Same deal, 4K theatrical, 4K extended, Blu-ray theatrical and extended. But like I was saying, I didn't do these movies individually on the main channel, on this channel. I did review the, um, the Two Towers over on the other channel. All right, so now we're gonna get into the Fellowship of the Rings. The first trilogy was The Hobbit. This is the actual the first trilogy, the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Slip cover, back, nice little artwork there. Same deal, front and back. Hopefully everything's in focus. So here we've actually got the disc on the inside cover, inside case. So this is a theatrical version in 4K, 
disc one extended version, disc two extended version 4K, theatrical version, standard Blu-ray, standard Blu-ray disc one extended, disc two extended on Blu-ray. Next up is the two towers. Take a look at that. Artwork up front. Artwork in the back. Same artwork on the case. And then you got your info right down on the back. Looks to be the same deal. We got the 4K theatrical version. Disc one, 4K, disc two extended, Blu-ray. That looks like it's a little loose. Pop that back in. Extended version Blu-ray, extended disc two on Blu-ray. Next up, we've got the Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. Look at that, that one's a, that's a nice one there. Just the ring itself. Nice artwork, I really dig that one. It's really bright. It's like the cover's in HDR. And here's the back artwork as well. Slide that off. Same artwork there. And then the disc details on the rear. And different colored discs again. There you go. Same deal as the rest of the discs. More goodies in this box. So this is the front. That is the rear. That says The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. Side and opposite side. So let's see what we get in here. This is everything. We've got the Lord of the Rings special features. I believe the special features are on standard Blu-ray. Outer case, inner case. Yeah, this is on standard, standard Blu-ray. So artwork there for the whole inside cover. Special features. That's the back. What's on here? This is everything that I read earlier. Alamo Draft House. Alamo Draft House presents Lord of the Rings Cast Reunion. Alamo Draft House presents Lord of the Rings Cast Reunions for Two Towers and The Return of the King. So that's that. Next up, we've got, let's see what these are. These look like little cards. So this is The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, The Shire. That's the front of the first card in the pack. And that is the rear. Very nice. It says, located in the Shire, the lovely village of Hobbiton is home to many peaceful and merry hobbits. So that's card one. Card two, Lake Town Adventure Waits, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog. What's that there? And that there. And this says, Lake Town, a small settlement of men, is constructed entirely of wood. South of the Lonely Mountain and east of Mirkwood is... It is the final resting place of the Dragon Smog. Very nice, that's card two. Card three, we've got Visit Erebor, the Dwarf Kingdom, The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies. That's that guy, front and on the rear. This says, under the lonely mountain lies the lost Dwarf Kingdom of Erebor. Once a prosperous stronghold, the kingdom was invaded by the Dragon Smog who drove the dwarves out and hoarded his stolen riches for nearly 200 years. Next up, we've got the Great River. We've got the Great River and Duin of Middle-earth. I don't know if I'm saying that right. The Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Rings. Front artwork, very nice. And the rear. This says... Towering above the Anduin on the path to Mordor, two imposing statues known as the Argonath stand on either side of the river, located on the northern border of Gondor. This gate serves as a warning to trespassers. Next up, we've got Welcome to Rohan, The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. This is uh, quite the collector's kit here. Here's the back. This is capital of the nation of Rohan. The fortified city of Edoras is, I'm pretty sure I'm messing that up, right? Uh, is built on a green hill overlooking the plains. Most prominent of the Edoras structure is the Medusel? <laughs> the 
the Golden Hall of King Theoden. All right, so listen, I'm not a uh, not the hugest fan of Lord of the Rings. All right, so I'm sure I'm mispronouncing those words, those names. Next card is Make Your Destination, Minas Tirith, King, City of Kings, The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. That is the next card up. Here's the back. This says, seven levels built on a hill, each ringed by gated walls and carved from white stone, rise up to form Minas Tirith, city of kings, at the summit of this vast and elegant capital of Gondor, 700 feet above its own great gate lies the citadel. And there you go. And the final card we've got, visit Rivendell, the last homely house east of the sea, Middle Earth, the Hobbit, the Lord of the Rings. Very nice. Here's the back. This is undeniably beautiful and rich with history. The Elvish Kingdom of Rivendell was founded by Lord Elrond. Situated within the Misty Mountains, it's located within a hidden valley. Makes it difficult to find. And here we go. These are all the digital codes for every single one of the movies. You can redeem this on Vudu or iTunes or wherever you want or movies anywhere. So that's that. And then lastly, we have The Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings, a collection of costume sketches, photography, and production notes. So this is the front of the little booklet, and that is the rear. Let's take a little gander at what we got in here. So we got some, some stills and photos. The White Council. So a bunch of artwork, a bunch of stills. And uh, yeah. So if you're a hardcore collector, I mean, this is a nice little collector's edition here. Now, like I said earlier, I didn't officially review all of these individually, but I did review the two towers over on the second channel, Dynamically Challenged. If you're not subscribed there, then please subscribe over there. I'll leave a link for that channel in the video, in the video's description. But uh, this is definitely one of those one of those transfers that kind of divided everybody between either really liking it or really hating it due to the fact that it seemed that they used a, a bunch of DNR to kind of like smooth out the image, get rid of some grain, and a lot of people hated that. And uh, I was one of them. I wasn't a big fan of it. That's kind of why I didn't review all these movies individually. So I left it up to the other reviewers out there, and I, I think some folks said it was like the, the 4K Blu-rays of the year, which I didn't see that was the case whatsoever. I, I'm going to say I would rank this up there with the Terminator 2 transfers. If you're a fan of that movie, then you'll definitely be a fan of these. But as far as audio quality wise for the new Dolby Atmos mixes, I was a huge fan of that. I'm going to put those definitely in the 9 category. So any one of these are knockout stellar audio transfers. At least for me, it sounded good on my system. I don't know what it's going to sound like for yours. But for me, the best part of these uh, new transfers was the Dolby Atmos remixes. But uh, as far as video quality wise, you know, I was not the biggest fan. But since Christmas is upon us, I'm going to give away this whole collector's edition, all 31 discs. If you are subscribed to the channel, all you got to do is start from your most favorite to your least favorite out of all six films. List it down in the comment section. Make sure that you are subscribed. If you're not subscribed, tap the subscribe button, leave that comment, and come Christmas time, I will select a winner to win this entire set. And hopefully this will give you some holiday cheer for the uh, Christmas season this year. If you are anywhere outside of the US and you really want this and you wanna pay for shipping, then I will, put, I will leave shipping up to you. But if you are within the continental US, then I will cover shipping and get this out to you. So again, from your favorite to your least favorite, leave that comment down below. You must be subscribed, you must comment, you also must like the video. Share this video as well, and I'll see you guys again in the next one.